Okay, this is part two of my Cycles, Materials, and Nodes tutorial series. And in the last lesson, we just took a look at these basic objects and applying shaders to each one of them. So a shader really is kind of like the type of uh, look that you want on it. It's, not, it's a material to it. It's not a texture yet, but it's kind of look glass or diffuse or velvety looking thing, transparent like you've seen that's available over here under the shaders like that. And if perhaps some of you are so brand new to using nodes that this may have, step may have eluded you to notice up here these lights and with maybe you didn't know how to put a light into the scene and if not all these are individual planes I'll go over here into material mode that way you can see the actual object being selected and so this is just a regular plane pointing down towards the scene like this and notice what I have over here I have a mission set well that's under the shaders as well and a mission is just a light all right and this tells us the strength and the color of the light and that's what these are set at like here all right so when the this is shows it as blue right and you go well, wait a second it looks white well that's because the strength is so high on this that if I dropped it down to well if I dropped it down to one then you'll see there is that blue color all right so it actually is that that's just that white so that might throw some people a little bit so and then if you if I zoom out in here notice what I have in here if I zoom in here each one of these nodes that you see over here in the node window like this I'm in the node editor like that and each one of these nodes is represents the object that's being selected so in this case this is the lamp and it shows it's an emission shader and that's the strength and that's the color and it's applied to the surface of that object all right, so that one shows that. See the strength is different for that lamp. And then we get down here, there's each one of these has individual nodes and they show up here and here as well. All right, so now let's go back, look at this object in here. We'll go back into real time mode so we can see what's happening. I'll zoom in, there we go. And we'll go select it like this. And so in, what we were looking at in the last lesson, we had disconnected the glass shader and we added the diffuse shader and reconnected that into it like that. All right, so in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to add, we're going to start getting more powerful and creative. All right, and we're going to move these over here like this. I'm going to disconnect this one as well. I right, hold down the control key, I disconnect it. And I'm going to down here and I'm going to add a new node. But this time, under shaders, I'm going to add the mix shader, the mighty mix shader. Very powerful. I can grab the window by just left clicking there and moving it up there because I want to basically do what it says mix. Well, I want to mix the glass, the yellow glass, and the red diffuse material into the same location. And then I'm going to take that and move it into the final output for this object here. So this is going to have to be connected to that. And then notice I have two inputs on here. So I'm going to take the input here and connect it to that and watch what happens when I connect it it's instantly almost bright yellow not quite you'll see why in a second and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it there and then it's somewhat red so now we've instantly mixed because it's a mix shader we've mixed the two together and now over here this now reflects exactly what's going on it starts here see there's the diffuse shader. It kind of goes in reverse here's the red diffuse shader down here right here and here's the yellow glass shader right above it and then it's up here into the mix shader so then that's what you see because logic of you're looking at a scene and you're looking at material I can see right away that this is what the thing is doing like that all right so those three reflect that into the surface of the of the object right there well so now the one other thing to consider is well what is what is this right here this FAC 0 0.50 well really it's it's basically it's a percentage value between these two and if I want all of the yellow glass to show through I just drop that down to zero alright and if I want all of the red diffuse shader to show through I just crank it up to one like that and so it's half and half like that so that's why it defaults at 50 50 when it comes up so that's why it showed up as part part way we come down here maybe I want it only you know 70 percent glass no I want maybe almost 30 percent glass and 50 percent red and there we are there we see the difference between the two so it's very sophisticated and powerful 
and gives you a lot of room to grow. So now the good habit to be into is now mix and match all kinds of different shaders. Let's try maybe let's cut out the we'll cut the glass shader real quick from the scene. And we'll just move it up here. It can hang out up there. That's okay. And we'll add another node. Oops, add the node right here. Add shader. And we'll add maybe a translucent shader. And we'll put the translucent shader up there instead. Maybe make it green. And you notice it's not over here yet because it's not connected. Because it doesn't it has nothing to do with the output of the final color yet until I actually connect it. So now I have a green translucent shader. I'm going to connect that to the mix shader. And there we have those two, the red and the blue, like that. Let's see what the translucent looks all by itself. Go to zero. There's that's all transparent. None of the diffuse red is mixed in there. I mean, how easy is that, right? Okay, practice that, would you? And see what you can come up with. This is how you start making all kinds of cool materials. If you've seen some of my other uh, videos of the renderings I did, the one that looked like it was a kind of a silver perfume bottle, well, that's what I was doing. I was mixing these shaders together and piping them out here to the surface of the object. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.